immediately check out. Show the butt, cover the gut. Uh, at this point, like, we just have to pay to survive because we gotta eat, you know what I'm saying? Ew, not these coming used. <gasps> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla Lachey. I am dressed to go run some errands right now because I have no food. So I was making my meal ideas and I was like, okay, bet we need all of these groceries. So I'm gonna run to the market, get a whole bunch of groceries, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna eat because your girl's hungry. But let's get into this outfit because I am obsessed with it. So shout out to Gymshark for sponsoring your girl. I do have a support link if you girls wanna shop Gymshark and rock some of my favorite pieces like this oversized crew neck. I'm wearing this in a size medium. Underneath it, I have the Gymshark ruched sports bra in a size small. These are very compressive legging. I'm wearing a size medium. They are the Gymshark Vital Seamless 2.0 in this beautiful blue color. Yo, my legs right now are sore from like two days ago. <laughs> and it was a struggle to even get out of the bed. I had to go get my bags because they were in the house. I'm not about to pay 10 cents a bag, okay? I want to talk to you guys about my meals because i want to show you like how i actually grocery shop in this video and how i essentially plan for half of a week because i will get sick of eating the same things if i plan for seven days so i tend to break up my meals um halfway through the week and if there's something i really loved from like the previous week and i want to eat it again i have no problem with that i just don't like telling myself we're gonna have chicken rice and veggies every day for lunch and dinner for seven days like oh no that's not gonna work for me so what i wanted to do was chicken quesadillas like that sounded so good to me and i can get similar ingredients to do chicken tender wraps because i'll already have the flour tortillas i also thought it would be good to do like a loaded mexican style baked potato like meatless so i'll get ingredients for that this half of the week and I have a bunch of plain bagels and I was like, what can I do with that? So I was thinking it might be good to do like um, little bagel pizzas so I can pick up some stuff for that since I'll already have my vegan cheese. I just like to be able to use ingredients in multiple ways but switching it up so I'm not wasting things. And the last thing I wrote down was just baked chicken and rice because I eat that most of the time. It's just very easy to prepare and I'll already have chicken for my chicken quesadillas. So once I figure out what meals I wanna make and what meals I wanna have, I will then make a list of the ingredients that I need to pick up from the store. So before I just write all these random things, I go through my fridge, I go through the pantry, I check in the freezer, and I make sure I don't already have those things. And if I have them, are they expired? <laughs> if they're expired, throw them out, clean out the fridge, and then we'll write down the ingredients that we need. So for example, I know I went through my pantry and I was running out of honey, and I use honey on everything, so I made sure to put that on the list. And then I went through and made sure that my produce was still good and threw out what needed to be thrown out. So I wrote down all the things I need to pick up and basically the things that correspond with the meals that I'm gonna make. That way I don't spend extra money buying random ingredients or random things at the market because it looks good in the moment or I'm hungry like right now, girl, don't be like me. I'm going to the market on an empty stomach, so I brought a snack bar with me to eat on the way um, to hold me over until I make my first proper meal. And I also need to write down, um, like I know I need to get blueberries because for like some of my meals, I don't really write like breakfast down. Mostly I plan my lunches and dinners because I eat the same things and like snack items. So I'll probably get like I don't know, I'm kind of craving hummus for some reason and blueberries for oatmeal 
and I have some pita chips as well that I need to eat so might as well get hummus for that I just like to make it budget friendly and it allows me to not buy things I don't need to plus you guys everything is so expensive now like the bread that I buy is seven dollars and some change for a loaf of bread I'm putting that in the freezer now to really make sure that I eat it all up because girl inflation that's another thing like groceries like everything is just so much more expensive eggs super expensive chicken like produce avocados don't get me started on the avocados, you guys. I think I bought a bag for like $7. But it used to be like 99 cents per one. So I just feel like you need to start budgeting at this point, especially if you're bulking like me. Bulking is already so expensive because you're having to eat in a calorie surplus. So my portions are already big. <laughs> like those Uncle Ben's rice pouches that I love, they're like $3 or something. And I mean you can get your own rice cooker and cook your own rice But there's some things I'm just not about to do and cooking rice is not one of them. So I will splurge on that but The bills be billing they be adding up when you start scanning everything um, Which I'll take you guys with me to grocery shop. I'm going to Wegmans by the way mm. My little 200 calories guys I'm really struggling today I feel like my legs you know, they don't know how to move I was like limping in the store dragging my feet so as you guys saw it was just a lot of things going on a lot of people that I didn't really get to do like a grocery shop with me which is fine because I'm gonna take you guys back to the house and I'm going to show you guys what I got I think I spent like hundred and thirty eight dollars and it's fine i actually ended up getting a lot of dairy free alternatives and um i want to try this cream cheese i got so hopefully it's good i would love to find a good nut free um cream cheese a lot of the good ones that i've heard have cashew milk in it or whatever and i obviously can't have that so this one hopefully will be better and then i got you know all the ingredients for the meals that I told you guys earlier there wasn't even a lot of chicken breast so I only got one pack of that so I'm gonna definitely have to come back to the store that last like a day and a half um I might have some frozen meat in my freezer oh you know what I have frozen shrimp shrimp quesadilla shrimp pasta like we have stuff at the house I just wanted to get some other items that I could kind of switch up my meals with so I'm really happy to go home and eat y'all because I'm hungry. Oh, I'm getting a Gymshark delivery today from their friends and family sale. I ordered more. You guys saw I ordered more biker shorts. And I'm so excited because it's getting warmer here. It says it's 66 and I definitely need shorts in my life. I got a Nike delivery and then that Gymshark package that I was expecting so I'm gonna show you guys that probably in this video because I did order new gym shoes for lifting and why not the vibes I thought I was just gonna talk about food today but I guess not so if I can edit this in I think it'll be helpful to put the prices of everything on the screen of today's time with inflation and everything else like that and then like I said earlier I was hoping to spend around a hundred dollars and I did get like specialty dairy free alternative items I got kombucha, which is around three dollars or so a bottle and then I got These this was like fifteen dollars for a set of Juice like ginger shots and I just personally invest in stuff like this because I feel good when I'm taking care of myself So this one actually has six different servings and when you break it down to going to like a juice bar or something It is more cost efficient So I went to Wegmans. This is where I picked these up at and they are so good So I like to have those regularly 
For kombucha this time around, I picked up a couple of the gingerade flavor from Synergy. These are really good and I'll usually have like half a bottle with my dinner and then I'll have the rest the next day. So I kind of make it stretch. And then I also got the Guava Goddess, which is my two favorite flavors. I also ended up getting the, this, what does this smell like? It's, oh no baby, they done sold me open hummus. This was not sealed. And now everything smells like garlic. Not me wasting my $3 on this Wegmans brand hummus. Would you still eat this? Oh no, guys. I was wondering why it smelled like garlic while I was shopping around the market. I'm going to save this to edit the prices in. Um. Anyway, let me know if y'all will still eat that or if you would toss it. I low-key want to throw it away because I don't play about my food, y'all. But I got this seed to spoon plant-based cultured cream cheese in plain. They had like a strawberry flavor. They had an herb flavor. And this is coconut oil based. And in my experience, coconut oil based dairy alternative cream cheeses literally melt away to nothing as soon as you put them on your toasted bagel. So I'm hoping this one will be a lot better than the Trader Joe's brand, the Daya one. Girl, I've literally tried follow your heart all of them and i can't have almonds can't have nuts and i feel like those ones are like the better ones that have more substance to them but this one says it's dairy gluten peanut and soy free and i love when i find soy free dairy alternatives so i definitely want to try that out i also got some organic tomatoes when you shop organic it tends to be more expensive but that's just my preference when it comes to certain things if i'm able to get them I got two things of the Dea mozzarella style shreds. Then I also picked up just three jasmine rice pouches from Uncle Ben. Or Ben's original. I thought this was called Uncle Ben's. Did they change the name? Am I just late? <laughs> this was also pretty pricey, but you know, it's going to last longer than a week, so it's fine. It's the organic wild and raw honey. I love the Trader Joe's honey selection much better, but I was not about to drive across to a new city just to get that and then i also picked up two of these chicken tenders from the applegate organics brand these are what i'm going to use for my chicken wraps and i couldn't find vegan ranch i know they have it at target again i was not trying to go to multiple stores today so instead i thought i would do it with a barbecue sauce like a barbecue chicken wrap so i got this Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce. I don't think I've ever tried this uh, before. So hopefully it's good. I usually get sweet sauces. And for the wraps, we're going to use these extra large flour tortillas. There's a ton in here. 220 calories for one. Yes, for the bulk life. And five grams of protein. I just had to save some money with the Wegmans brand organic pizza sauce because it had clean ingredients, water, tomato paste, and salt. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Versus the Rayo's brand, which has also gone up in price. Like, uh, at this point, like, we just have to pay to survive because we got to eat. You know what I'm saying? And I got some Earth Balance soy-free butter, my personal preference because they have a bunch of different ones that you can pick from. And then I ended up getting a couple cans of black beans for my loaded baked potatoes. And this way I'll get some protein in there. It's eight grams per serving. Sometimes I just want a meatless meal and I don't want to be eating chicken or you know red meat in every single meal that I'm eating. And then I got some canned carrots because I don't have room in my freezers. <laughs> Something has to give, and I always get the no salt added whenever I get canned vegetables. I'm really sad about that hummus, you guys. I was like, maybe I opened up in my bag, like when I was, you know, in the car or something, but I was smelling garlic in the store, like in my little buggy when I was like shopping around. So I'm gonna just have to throw it away and take the L. I got an onion for my quesadillas. And I didn't get, like, what seasoning do you put on quesadillas? I hope I have taco mix. I don't have, like, fajita mix or anything, like, I don't know. But I'm going to add some jalapenos, give it some spice. So I got a couple of those. 
And I got four russet potatoes. I could also have this for breakfast potatoes if I don't want to have a loaded baked potato four different times. Like potatoes are just such a great carb choice and they're affordable and you can literally make anything out of a potato. I got some blueberries for my oatmeal. And I saw this little mini pack of pepperoni. So we're gonna use this, or I'm gonna use this for my little bagel pizzas. And that's the Applegate brand. Also bacon has gone up in price. The thick cut bacon that I normally get, baby what was it, $10. Let me stop acting like I'm shook. <laughs> so I got this one because it was $6 or so. I'm not even gonna edit on the screen. I just realized how much work that would be for me. Bacon, how much was this? $7.99, you guys. It's not even thick cut, and I really like thick cut bacon. So that's unfortunate. Then I picked up some lettuce. Some lettuce. This was $5. Okay, so this I'm gonna use for my wraps. Um, is this romaine? I was looking for butter leaf lettuce, but I couldn't find it, so I gave up and got that. I also picked up a green bell pepper for my quesadillas and I have an orange one in the fridge so probably going to add that to the mix um, as well. I also feel like bell pepper, that one's not even organic you guys, that was oh, only 92 cents but the organic ones can be like $3 for one. It's insane. So that's when I like pick and choose my battles. If I can get mostly organic, I will. And then this chicken breast was the last chicken breast on the aisle or whatever. This was $8.33. And I would have picked up two of them. But I'm just going to meal prep all of this for my chicken quesadillas. Instead of trying to bake chicken. And then also have chicken quesadilla chicken. So that's just what I'll do until I go back to the market. I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh. Inflation is so bad, they couldn't even give me a full-on chicken tender. They had to go and give me the corner piece. Y'all can't make this up. But this is the whole box. So I'll probably get like two wraps um, out of this. Does it say? 420 cows, 29 grams of protein for the whole thing. So... Definitely recommend. These are my favorite like uh, brand of chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. It's super good. Okay. Stay hydrated, guys. I need to be drinking way more water, especially today because it's my rest day. And I think I drink a ton of water when I'm active in the gym. That at home, I really need to make sure that I'm still getting it in. So let me get into these boxes while my food cooks and show you guys what I picked up. I feel like this package shipped so fast. I spend my own money on this, but I do have a support link in the description box, as you girls know, if you choose to support your girl and pick up any of my favorites and my recommendations from Gymshark, definitely let me know if you do shop through my link, because you definitely don't have to. It's just a support link though, so unfortunately you don't get a discount, which seriously is why it means so much if you guys do choose to shop. But they had a really good sale going on that I told you guys about. And I love these so much. I have five pair now. I had to get every color that was available. And I'm really hoping that they'll bring some more colors out. Because the fit on these is so good. These are the Adapt Animal Cycling Shorts. And this is like a red burgundy color. They are so freaking flattering. Like the waistband is so snatching. They have all of this like crazy contour, but it's it's giving like animal print on animal print, which gives you a more juicy look. You guys saw when I did my Gymshark haul. And the length is just my perfect length. And they are very stretchy, especially around the thigh area. 
So I swear by these. I know they still have some colors in this red. So I'm going to try and post this video so you guys can snatch them. And I wear medium. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. And then I got this color, which I know this one is starting to sell out. Oh, it's so pretty. Online it looked more blue, but in person it's giving more green. I guess like a teal type of a color, but you can see the Adapt Animal print and then the contour. And they do have the scrunch on these. So I'm obsessed. Can't wait to wear those this week to the gym. Once I recover, y'all, I feel like I might not be able to hit legs again until Friday. And today's Wednesday. And I hit legs on Monday, so you tell me. I did do cardio yesterday, though, um, for 50 minutes for my active rest. But this is from Nike. And then these are the Nikes that I picked up. And I hope they fit you guys. So I got a pair of shoes for the gym and then I got a pair of sneakers just for like the springtime to wear like some Jordans outside. So I went with my true Nike size, which is a nine. I will link these below for you guys because I feel like, ew, not these coming used. Oh no, uh-uh. These have like grass stains on them. Nike, do better. I was really excited about these for my next leg day. Girl, they are a flat shoe. These are definitely going back. And it's on this side too. I know y'all can see that. And like this staining on the canvas. Nike, how are you going to do me like this? Oh, no. But it was like a cute shoe. I'm going to try it on and see if it fits. And then I'm going to return. And then can I take this to the outlet? Because there's an outlet near me. I really don't want to like mail this back. It's like someone wore these outside to play tennis. And then they didn't want them. Mm-mm. But it's an all-white shoe, and I love an all-white shoe for the gym because it means it goes with all of my gym outfits. And again, it's a flat shoe, so it's great for leg day. You're really able to just have that stability in the gym, and I have flat feet. So really anything with an arch and me just don't mix. So whenever I'm even doing like cardio and I'm walking or doing the Stairmaster, I still prefer to use a flat shoe. So that's unfortunate that these look like they are stained up and dirty. I really hope they don't think I did that. But I'm going to try these on and make sure the sizing is okay. I do know that they also came in other colorways. So yeah, and they didn't seem to be too expensive. And then these are the ones I was the most excited about, you guys. I will link them if they're still available. And again, I went with my true Nike size, which is a nine. And I only have one pair of Jordans and they are like a mid, but I've been wanting a low Jordan for the longest time because I just feel like they're more comfortable. So, and these literally checked every box and ain't no way I was about to spend resale for a green Jordan. So when I saw these, oh, these are fresh, baby. When I saw this colorway, immediately check out. <laughs> oh my God, I love like a white base shoe. I feel like it just, I don't know, it brightens up every outfit. This with like leather pants, jeans, cargo pants. Like I don't wear a lot of green, but this makes me want to style it. So it has like a platform to it. I guess that's the Elevate style. And then the branding is like, um, what do you call this? patent leather so it has a bit of a sheen to it these you cannot tell me these aren't everything black laces they also came with red laces which i don't know if i'll use these give me christmas christmas vibes <laughs> but i love the black laces because they won't show a lot of dirt and you're gonna get height and they're green i've been wanting a low top like literally everything i ever wanted when it comes to a jordan these are everything mm-hmm Forget those other shoes, okay? Like, <laughs> these are everything I wanted for a spring and summer sneaker. 
Yeah, this is making me want to get... Like, they had so many different color options, but this one was my favorite. But it makes me want to go and get another one in this same silhouette. But I need to try these on now because I'm too excited. Oh, yeah. See, I usually get Nike, like, men's because, I don't know, but they fit. Definitely give me a little height. This is without. This is with. So we love that. Oh my god i'm obsessed with these yeah these are a win for sure so if they're still up because the sizes were flying off the shelves y'all definitely go cop these these are stunning or is it glue are my glasses tripping me out like is it glue can i like shout it out let me try it on first i had to like make sure my eyes weren't playing games with me let me at least try these on. It's giving me like a tennis. A tennis style. Ooh, they're comfortable. Ooh, they look good with leggings. See, that's why you just need a good all white shoe. They're comfortable. They're roomy. They're great for the wide foot community. But now I'm like, they're for the gym. So who cares if they're like, those weird green marks, I might be able to use shout. But baby, I paid for new shoes. What would you do? First the hummus and now these, I can't. But these are really nice. I really like these a lot. The fit is good. I would say true to size if you're looking at them. They don't look worn because the soles look, you know what I'm saying, like brand new, but I'm just so confused. Maybe that's just, I don't know. Does this look dirty? Please keep them or return them. Someone comment below or should I like try and clean them? But then if I do that, then I can't take them back. That's why I'm like, just keep the shoe, it's fine. Ooh, that got nice and melted. And it warmed up our tortilla. I'm probably gonna have extra chicken that won't fit in here, so I'll just have it on the side to dip. y'all that looks so good this red color is so freaking cute you guys i love it against my skin tone and when i tell you they are so flattering like the most flattering you get more coverage than a short shorts and you are able to breathe like my legs can breathe outside of leggings so bikers are just it for me oh now i'm about to start a fire I love how like these snatch the waist. This color, girl, I'm gonna skip this color. So happy I snatched these and didn't skip out on this. I would definitely say it's a teal. And you can hike them up like I like to do to make them a little shorter. Love that, you can tuck it in as well. Show the butt, cover the gut. That's what I always say. And I just feel the most comfortable in biker shorts and an oversized tee or an oversized hoodie, zip up, sweatshirt, whatever. Y'all, 
I feel like I had to sleep. Oh, I had to sleep. Ooh. Don't we love that the sun is out? I gotta get this video posted. body was like sleep we are going to sleep so I just had to come and make some greens right now and I really needed my glutamine I'm obviously not going to the gym so I had my oxy shred this morning I can't remember if I was vlogging or not but I take oxy shred sometimes the powdered version um, before I eat anything and then wait 20 minutes then you can eat breakfast whatever and it just helps me with the fat loss and burning excess fat while I'm on my bulk so I don't have to do a cut afterwards. So glutamine, as you guys know, really supports healthy guts. Most importantly, amino acids, which I need because I'm so sore. Haven't been this sore in so long. And then creatine, which supports muscle mass. And I don't even know why I'm telling you this. This is sold out, y'all. I told y'all on Instagram, go get it. They randomly restocked two flavors and they lasted like a week and they're gone. <laughs> so today we're having guava paradise. Cause I hadn't had vegetables today. Also it helps with immunity and not being bloated. I don't want to be bloated. I'm trying to look snatched all the time. So the greens is where it's at for me. And it's five o'clock. I look a mess. <laughs> and I didn't put a lot of water in here. I just wanted to get it in. I'm not feeling so hungry today. I don't know why. I'm just tired. I'm gonna have a lazy girl Trader Joe's dinner tonight. I have some dumplings, so I'm really excited. And I bought some new honey today for my sauce. So I'm gonna try my best to edit. I don't know why, I really want a coffee. But I just have my greens and the thought of them combining in my stomach right now doesn't sound like a good idea. 